Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I can use a digital terrain model and create a 3D model. At first I'm going to create a hill shade, then colorize the digital terrain model, add vector buildings and then use the plugin QGIS to 3GIS. All the data I've been using in this tutorial is downloaded from the Danish Geodata Agency on download.kortforsyning.dk. Here you can download terrain models, surface models, point clouds. I have been using the terrain model with a grid with from 0.4 meter. The area I'm going to use this action on is a very flat area. It's very near to the coast and I'm going to show what happens if you have water coming up to one or two meter. I have the terrain model. It looks like grayscale like this. At first I'm going to perform a hill shade. I use the raster and terrain analysis and the hill shade. I use the terrain model and save this as a hill shade. Suddenly the area looks like this. I'm going to change the hill shade so it goes to the, like this and I'm going to look again at the terrain model. I'm going to colorize the terrain model, double clicking and going into the style. Going from a single band gray to a single band pseudo color. I'm using a color ramp like this. I have rebuilt it from this VT slash A and use it to a DK. I'm going to use equal intervals and having 10 classes going from 0 to 15 meter, like this. And my map suddenly looks like this, very colorized. But I can't see the hill shade. So again, I'm going to open the style and going to the blending mode. Here in the blending mode, I would like to show, use the multiply and press OK. Then I can see my author photo, but I'm not still able to see the hill shade. So I go to take the author photo and change that from the color blending mode to a darkened and press OK. If I zoom in, I'm now able both to see the terrain model colorized, the author photo and the hill shade. I have now added the vector buildings. I'm going to use the QGIS to 3GIS. The elevation model is the DTM and I have added the buildings and giving a value for 4 meters. So all the buildings will have the same same height will be 4 meter. In my browser I can now see the area. I can rotate it. I can zoom in. I can zoom out. I can activate the layers with the terrain models, the buildings, and I have the, also the custom plane. In the custom plane, I'm going to change the color like this into a blue. And I'm going to set the one meter sea level. And I'm going to change it to a two meter rise and sea level. And it will look like this. Enjoy using these magnificent tools. Have a nice GIS day.